The third human civil war was fought by the major powers for control of Earth and her colonies. The Republic of India, the largest free state on Earth, and a key allied nation was vital to the eventual defeat of the hegemony. In the decades leading up to the war, the power of the United States had waned, and other nations rose to fill the vacuum. India became more active in global security, and joined the US and Japan in a joint effort to explore and colonize space. Who here wants to be an Indian astronaut and go to the... Me! You think you will one day? Yes! Yeah. Mankind rushed to colonize the solar system and exploit its unlimited resources. Meanwhile on Earth India soon found itself surrounded by an expansionist China and the Islamic world in anarchy. A new radical Islamist movement was spreading across Pakistan, Iran and the Middle East. After much internal strife, the whole Islamic empire was created out of dozens of Islamic nations. India was now surrounded by powerful enemies. While the US and Europe cut their armed forces, India was rushing to prepare itself for a possible war. August 8, 2055, China invaded Taiwan and destroyed the US fleet deployed to protect the island nation. China's lie, the Holy Islamic Empire invaded Israel and Western India just two days after. India, Israel, Australia, and the United States formed an alliance to counter the hegemony. The endless legions of the HIE poured across the western Indian border. A fully mobilized Indian military bitterly fought the invaders. It did not take long before both powers used nuclear weapons. The US still reeling from its defeat in Taiwan retreated from Asia. China then turned against India, invading it from the north through the Himalayas. The Indian military launched constant counter-attacks against the hegemony, and the front lines would shift every day. Indians caught behind enemy lines were executed by the hegemony, and told tens of millions were killed in the hegemony death camps. India took a heavy toll from the conflict, but it would not be easily conquered. The hegemony planned to eliminate India and Japan first, then destroy America and the EU. With the Indians still fighting in 2060, China went ahead and invaded the US. China invaded at half its planned strength, the rest of its forces were bogged down in India. China soon found itself waging two separate wars against two determined enemies on their homeland on two different continents. By 2065 the hegemony controlled more than 80% of the planet. India still remained fighting in Asia, it refused to capitulate even as its major allies were either overrun or destroyed. India waited for the day when the allies could turn the tide of the war. Me! 